Hello my poor holic friends, Loida here from loveacrylicpainting.com. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do a DIY version or a homemade version of Flow Aid or aka also called wet water. Um, wet water is known in the community of, I don't know, what are they called? It's these guys or people that do like train sceneries. They use wet water. I think they are the ones that came with this term uh, or invented this term called wet water, which is basically like a homemade version of flow aid. Um, it just helps release the surface tension of, um, of water and it helps, uh, well, in their case, you know, in, in the train scenery case, it helps them break the surface tension of water and it helps the glue bind to their surface uh, a lot better. So in our case for acrylic pouring, I like to use flow aid in my pouring medium because that helps my paint mixtures flow a lot better on the surface of my canvas. So I don't know if you guys know, but water um, has some surface tension. Okay. If you put a little bit of drop of water on a surface, you'll see that the water is not completely flat. It'll kind of create a dome on the top. That is, a surf, the surface tension that is causing that dome. And so once you start adding more and more water and that little, you know, uh, drop of water starts growing and growing, there will be a, there will be a point where that drop will burst and the water will just kind of like spread everywhere. But initially it will have some surface tension and it will create that bubble on the top. Um, yeah, that dome on the, on the top. So, then I don't know if you've noticed with your acrylic port painting, sometimes you have paint that doesn't really want to flow. Well, the flow aid is a great option, a great thing to add to your pouring medium so that it can help your, your basically break that surface tension of the pouring medium and the water that's in your mixture and help your pouring medium and just, you know, your paint mixture just to flow really well. And so it also helps with um, making your paint mixture a little bit more liquidy without having to add a ton of water. So that is the reason I use Flow Aid in my pouring medium. However, like I said, it can be quite pricey. So I decided, okay, I need to find an alternative to Flow Aid. I need to do my own version because I don't have a ton of money. I'm not, a, I'm not rich. Okay guys. So I need to find cheap ways of doing this. And I wanted to share that with you in case you just, you're just like me, you want to save money wherever it's possible. So anyways, um, yes. How do we make this flow aid or this wet water? Well, there's a couple of ways. Um, I'm going to tell you the alternatives. Um, but I'm going to, first tell you the one that I really, really like. Okay. So the one that I really love is one that is made with water and, uh, dishwasher rinse aid, like jet dry or the cascade rinse aid. Um, this one is from Walmart. So it's the great value brand, but it's also, a uh, dishwasher rinse aid has surfactants. All you have to use is one fourth of a teaspoon of the jet dry mixed with 32 ounces of water. To make this big batch, I used one eighth of a teaspoon because this is just 16 ounces. So I barely used any of this. So this mixture basically cost me a few cents, just a few cents to make this huge batch batch <laughs> compared with the flow aid, you know, the, the small bottle of flow aid at the store that is going to cost me a few bucks. So there you have it. That is my, um, my recipe, my homemade recipe for this flow aid wet water mixture. I did a ton of research on this guys. I did a ton of looking up what other artists were, were using to release surface tension on, you know, whatever art they're using it for. And, um, I did find a few people that were using soap. Others were using, um, alcohol. Others were using laundry soap, 
just so you know, like a lot of people in the acrylic pouring community are using soap in their pore paintings, which is also a surfactant, so something that breaks that surface tension. Soap, like I said, um, dish soap helps break the surface tension, and laundry soap. So those are the other two alternatives. Also alcohol, but I don't recommend using alcohol because if you use too much, people that use alcohol inks or just regular alcohol in their paintings, they'll get cells um, and it'll help break that surface tension, but you can get cracking. So I don't recommend alcohol. Also, I don't recommend using the Dawn soap or a dish soap just because it makes a lot of bubbles. I already tried it, guys. I tried it. I made one of these um, mixtures of soap and water and it just had a ton of bubbles. Even though I added like a tiny, tiny bit, it still created a ton of bubbles. And when I mix that with my pouring medium and I use that on my painting, I just couldn't get the bubbles out. It was just tiny, tiny little bubbles that would not come out even with heat. So then I ended up with uh, pinholes in my painting. So don't use, I don't really recommend that you use Dawn soap or dish soap unless you find out a way of, um, you know, maybe letting it sit for a while and letting those bubbles dis dissipate and then using it. But even though like, if you do that, I think that when you mix your paint with your fluid and you know, your pouring medium, it's just gonna create those bubbles again. So yeah, that's an alternative, but I don't really recommend it. Now you can try laundry soap because laundry soap is less sudsy. It's meant to not create as many bubbles because bubbles will affect the, the washer. So, Laundry soap is a lot better than dish soap, um, just because of that reason. So those are the two other alternatives, but like I said, this is the one that I prefer. And I found very few people that were using this, but I did find one that mentioned that he's been using this for quite a few years. Okay. It was super hard to find. It was a forum and in this forum uh, it was a comment like in all in all the like the huge section of comments there was this one comment of this person that said just use jet jet dry. I use that. I've been using it for years and um, it works great. Yeah, so people are using it and um, that was his recommendation. If I find his name somewhere, it was, yeah, it was not a video. It was like, I don't think I can find his name. I think I lost where, where I found that, but it's somewhere on the internet and he recommended, this is his ratio, one fourth of a teaspoon of jet dry with 32 ounces of water. So there you have it. Thank you, anonymous uh, contributor to this video um if you're somewhere out there you know who you are thank you if you like this video please give it a thumbs up please share and subscribe if you haven't done so yet i have a ton of resources for you in the description box below so make sure that you check that out and i will see you in my next video